Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. For today's URC Round 17 South African Team of the Week. I haven't done this in quite a while. The URC hasn't been back for a while. Um, but uh, basically what this is, and we've done it um, before and it's quite popular, is basically what we do is we look at the four South African teams and we pick a Team of the Week from them. So this will not include the likes of an RKS Neyman, for example, who would probably he would walk into this team. Um, because... It gets difficult to monitor all the various South Africans playing across all the various teams. So whilst we did manage to watch Richard Creel and uh, Rena Smith and um, the Rockets name, for example, you know, across all the games stuff like that, it's, it's difficult to, time to monitor all the various South Africans sometimes. So it becomes a lot easier just to try and do a combined uh, locally based SA team of the week. And SA, the teams of the week are one of my favorite things to do because they always create quite a lot of controversy. Always uh, some people who you know, we'll, we'll back your decisions or we'll disagree. And I always really enjoy that sort of debate and the various different, uh, you know, thought processes to why some people think that some players should be picked over other players. Uh, so obviously this is just our team of the week. I want to know what your guys' opinion is. And in this team of the week, we have uh, one, two, three, four. I think we've got five Bulls players. I think we've got one, two, three, four. I think we've got five Sharks players as well. And then we've got, I think, four Stormers players and one Lions player. Oh, three Stormers players, I think. And uh, one um, Lions player. Two Lions players. So there must be one of them. I don't know. But that's kind of sort of the, the, the rough breakdown. Uh, before I give my team of the week, please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. This is what I've gone with. And it was a pretty difficult team of the week to pick because I think there were some pretty good performances across the various teams and some positions which maybe were pretty easy to pick for example so one of the hardest things for me was choosing between Harris Stenekamp and Steven Kitsov who I thought both had very very good performances as well as Oxen Chair who was absolutely decimating uh, that Benetton scrum uh, after conceding a couple of early penalties uh, same with Titan I thought the front rows across the the board this weekend were very good for South African teams um, so those were one of the diff more difficult ones I went for Harris Stenekamp because he got a man of the match performance against yes against the Zebra side but scored a try was full of running um, did scrum pretty well, and uh, yeah, so he aged Stephen Kitsov just um, based on that. Uh, Jan Kobler was my uh, pick for, for, for hook of the weekend. Uh, I thought Joseph did actually quite a good game. I mean, he had struggled a little bit with line outs, but to be honest, I think the entire calling looked weird um, going on. So I don't, know, I don't think they're not particularly organized across the board, um, but was very, very good in the loose. Tackled very well, carried very well. Um, I thought Jan Kobler had a very good game over the weekend. You can't leave out France by Herbert when he, when, he, when, he, when he dives over for his first try in the URC. You can't, you know. And there were good performances from Morley Smith. Brilliant performances from Thomas de Toya. Another solid performance from Asanati and Tlavakanye. But France by Herbert diving over that try line in epic fashion, like an outside centre, you've got to keep him in the team. I mean, was, was he a three? Was he a third team? We'll never know. Uh, Ruan for Mark, I thought, had his best game in the Bulls jersey. Carried up very, very well uh, for the, the Bulls. Uh, I thought Ruben van Heerden probably quite unlucky not to miss this. But uh, in a losing effort, I thought Willem Albert, at 38 years old, or soon to be 39, less than a month, was titanic for the Lions. He made the most tackles uh, in the match, not missing a single one. Uh, he carried the ball a lot. He had a couple of line breaks, which we don't see. Um, caught the ball as well in the line when he was used. I thought it was a very, very impressive performance of Willem Alberts. And the Lions have been criticized for signing the likes of a player like Willem Alberts, saying, you know, they're all over the, uh, uh, you know, over the hill. But uh, I thought on Saturday, he really did show his quality. Uh, Sia Khaleesi, um edges for me. Uh, Marco Vistardo, I thought, also played pretty well. Yaku Creel had a ben fantastic game for the Lions. Um, but I thought that Sia Khaleesi was was everywhere. Uh, very hardworking, very sort of typical Sia Khaleesi performance. Good to see him sort of building a bit of form as we move into the last days of the club competition and start moving towards the international season. Uh, Vincent Tuka finally started to look a, a little bit like the play he was at Lions. Uh, scored a try and uh, yeah, was full of running, full of carrying. But nice big carries as well from him. Um, which was good to see. I thought it was also quite quiet weekend for uh, uh, Ben Jason Smith. Uh, sorry, Ben Jason Dixon, who, who's been playing very well. I uh, thought that uh, Kyle Brink had a decent game for the Bulls. And uh, Hachiba Diamani versus uh, Albert Lowe was my, was my big sort of contender one. I thought Hachiba Diamani playing in a better side in the likes of a Munster um, had a very good game. I thought that he was, you know, he, when the Stormers didn't have anything on, he was always looking to create. I thought he got through a lot of work, made some good tackles as well. Um, but I thought Albert Lowe also had a very impressive performance, as the Sigma Mother Norcia as well, uh, which is worth worth mentioning. Uh, current Bosch for me was between Kern Bosch and um, and Johnny Lombard this weekend. Johnny Lombard scoring a try, didn't kick for pole, so uh, that part didn't really come into his game. I thought Johnny Lombard actually looked a lot better this weekend than we've seen in the last couple of months. But uh, Kern Bosch kicked very well, 
Uh, didn't really put too many feet wrong, to be honest. So another assured performance from him. And I skipped out my scrum off. Who is Grant Williams? It was difficult between Grant Williams who scored a brace, Ambrose Appiah who scored a brace. I've won with Grant Williams. I thought that Ambrose Appiah was really good. But I thought that they probably had very similar performances. And again, I've kind of gone with Grant Williams because he had a very good performance against a stronger side. I think that Ambrose Appiah, you look at some of the trials he scored and it was pretty woeful from Zebra. I thought Grant Williams, once again, showing his X factor um, and, 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 and his all-around ability to really up the ante a little bit. I think kicking game still needs a lot of work. There's no doubt about that, but uh, it's a very, very good scrum off. The wings I've gone with Edel van der and Kane and Moody. I don't think there's too many uh, discussions about this. Kane and Moody scoring a hat-trick and Edel van der was terrific for the Lions. Uh, really, really was good. And um, been one of the few shiny lights uh, and, and always seems to get over the advanced line. works incredibly hard. And I think that he could very well be knocking on a three mark cap in the next couple of years if he continues playing like this. I think he's a very underrated player. Um, McKenna Moody, I mean, yeah, hat trick for him. One of the easier hat tricks he'll score, um, and he'll admit that himself. But uh, just looks so comfortable at this level. It's 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 weird to think of how young he is, and and, and yet he looks like he's a seasoned uh, professional that's been playing for years and years. Uh, so good performance for him. Dan Duplessis has had a, a season to to remember. He's been really good for Stormers. The fact that David Phillips is playing at fullback. Uh, is testament to the fact that they really do back down to see at 12, uh, who's been really good and had another very good performance this weekend. Uh, Lekanya Am, this was also a bit of a difficult decision between Lekanya Am and uh, Ruan Nal. I thought Ruan Nal played really well for Stormers, um, was very physical, made big tackles, um, also scored a try. But uh, I thought Lekanya Am just looked very effortlessly back to back to being to, close to his best this weekend. A couple of very nice offloads, uh, looked far more uh, organized than the defense as well. So it could have very, very easily been Ruan Nal. A um, bit of a toss of the coin in that one. And then fullback, for me, I think this was a pretty easy one. I thought that Damien Billimser was, was on a different level from the rest of the fullbacks. Kurt Lawrence uh, had a pretty poor day defensively, actually, and was very good in the tackle as usual. But Damien Billimser, for me, had the complete performance once again. Doesn't miss tackles, always managed to get over the advantage line. Such an exciting player. Probably within the top five most important players for South Africa this year, for the Spring Marks. And that's testament to how well he's been playing and how much he's been able to elevate his game in the last few months. So that's my team of the week. Let me know what yours is down in the comments below. Please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steven. I'll chat to you soon.